Hi, this is Rodrigo from DJ Tech Zone. Today I want to discuss Recordbox DJ and the Pioneer DJ asset. Why am I looking into this? Because many people have an asset, have bought an asset. It's not a cheap controller, it's an expensive controller. Use it with Serato, use it maybe with the official Tractor Pro mapping from Pioneer for Tractor Pro and want to try it out with Recordbox DJ, but don't know if things will work as they expect. So. Before you dive into that, have a look at this video and check out how the features of the assets work together with the Recordbox DJ software. So see it a bit as an introduction to the software package and if it's what you want. If you are in the market for this type of controller and you are doubting between the RZ and the asset, this video should clarify how good the asset works with Recordbox DJ, how well mapped and how well integrated it is knowing that the asset runs Serato and Traktor in a much more official way than the RZ will ever do. Pioneer has stated very clearly in their forums, we will not support any other software with the RZ uh, apart from Recordbox DJ. So if you want to map it to another software, it's up to you. You figure out how to do it. We will not support you in that. So that's an important statement and if you are a professional DJ, if you are a DJ, a mobile DJ or a club DJ or you're a club owner and you want to have a machine in your place that can support different software packages, you would definitely not choose RZ in my opinion, not at this point. You would rather go for something that is, has been in the market for a few years, that has solid mappings and that can connect to all those solutions uh, in a seamless way. By the way, this controller also supports both uh, DVS in Serato and in uh, Recordbox. It supports both video. So talking about versatility, this is really a versatile controller. Let's dive into the features, not specifically about the asset, but how they are integrated into the software in the rest of the video. Let's go. The first thing that I want to discuss are the effects. On the DDJ asset, you have the classic DDJ effects layout with the effect knobs and the on off buttons so if we launch a track of course you can control your effects multi-chain them from here you can control the amount of beats that an effect has to uh, take into account and you can also change with the shift button which effect you want to apply So that's one thing. Second thing is that Pioneer uh, DJ implemented in Recordbox DJ something called release effects. And you can activate them by pushing the beat knobs and releasing. And then you're back exactly uh, uh, where you should be in the track so the track continues to play underneath, which is a quite cool effect. Now, one thing that is Quite differently uh, um, from the Recordbox DJ version of this controller, the uh, Pioneer RZ, is that you have no access to the color effects from the software when you are uh, uh, playing with an asset controller. So you cannot change which color effects are applied uh, uh, in the controller. But we're going to go into the color effects uh, in a while as we continue to. Uh, check out uh, what the features are of the asset when you are connected to Recordbox DJ. And then of course we have the color effects embedded into the DDJ asset itself, uh, echo, jet, pitch and filter. Unfortunately from the Recordbox DJ software you cannot change what's behind those buttons with this controller you can do that with the rz controller but you cannot do it with the asset control so if you have an asset that's something that you cannot adapt but they are still working perfectly they're well mapped And the master 
works as well. So that's not an issue. And why I'm making a point of this is that uh, in the past, when well, I started actually to use my set with Recordbox DJ from the very first version of Recordbox DJ, and some things were really off there. And one of the things that were off, I had even uh, in a live situation or in a gig situation that my color, color effect knobs were not working anymore. They were uh, giving some strange results. Uh, so it's good to see that uh, the mappings have been improved and the stability has been, has been improved and, and it's working as it should be right now. So uh, I, another good news if you want to go to Recordbox DJ, uh, it's, uh, all those things are working better now than they were in the past uh, with the Pioneer DJ asset. So another feature of the Pioneer DJ asset that I want to discuss with you in connection to Recordbox DJ is how the pads are implemented. So of course you have the hot cues, they work as uh, in any other uh, Pioneer uh, DJ, Recordbox DJ, Serato DJ controller, no secrets there. Roll feature is interesting because if you don't know Recordbox DJ, you, if you don't know Recordbox DJ, you don't know this. The first row, the top row, allows you to loop a certain loop size across the track and the track keeps playing nicely underneath. And the uh, row underneath is for effects. So for example, fiddle break there, that's an echo, that's a flanger, and that's a cool delay. And you can combine them like this. So you can do nice things, nice performance things while you're performing with your tracks that you're playing around. The next uh, thing there is the slicer, and the slicer chops up a loop. Uh, in specific uh, uh, sizes uh, that you can set in the software so you can set uh, uh, the, the size of the loop that you will chop and it sounds like this so your this loop is const constantly uh, uh, rolling through the track and you're just kind of re-looping small bits of it also for edit effect and uh, performance uh, value you can also all those features as you can use them on the uh, RZ you can also use them on the S set this controller in conjunction with record box DJ so a bug that has been in the Serato DJ record box DJ implementation for quite a while or mapping quite a while is the fact that the slip mode was faulty uh, when you uh, try to put on the slip mode and then do tricks on the jog wheel, uh, the track would skip a beat and basically you couldn't use it, you couldn't rely on it. I've been testing it out since the last release and it seems to have been gone. So, so let's uh, uh, launch some appropriate track and when we try to use the slip mode, now what you see is that the jog uh, blinks and on the screen you have the red circle that indicates that you're in slip mode which is quite clear. The slip button is also lighted. So that's smooth. There is no beat skipping anymore. Which is good. The Mapping between the jog and Recordbox DJ and the latency is flawless, really, really good. So it invites to do all sides of all types of nice tricks. Uh, another cool stuff that works as well in Recordbox DJ with the DJ set is the sensor button, uh, which is a nice effect or a necessity when you're playing tracks with uh, profanity in it. In, uh, a marriage for example uh, and you want to have it out if you have the slip mode on 
then your track continues to play underneath. Which is quite cool. So, that's uh, about slip mode and sensor when you use the asset and record box DJ. So Recordbox DJ is a 4-deck software and the S set is a 4-deck controller so you can perfectly toggle as well on this controller. The implementation is fully functional between 4 decks. If you launch one deck, simply switch to the other deck with the deck buttons and you are We have two decks of ongoing uh, music there and the controller itself uh, um, the LEDs are perfectly matched as well to fully switch to white when you are on 3 and 4 and to 2 when you are on 1 and to blue when you are on 1 and 2 so there the implementation is really well done and there's no remarks to make Should you consider moving to Recordbox DJ while you have an asset or should you consider buying an asset if you want uh, to use Recordbox DJ next to other packages if you need compatibility between your controller and multiple software packages in a very reliable way, way I would go for the asset if uh, on the other hand you are hooked to Pioneer you are a Recordbox user for years and you want to use Recordbox DJ with a controller for whatever reason, then you should definitely go for the ARZ. If you have no interest in Tractor, no interest in Serato, then you should not even look at this controller. There are much, much better solutions that are similar to this one, but are designed from the ground up for the uh, Pioneer DDJ RZ Recordbox DJ controller. So it depends in which use case you are. I think it's personally good that Pioneer is supporting their older controllers with their newer software because it just expands the market and people are willing to use their software even though they don't have the latest Pioneer Recordbox DJ label controller. Doesn't matter that it's a Serato, you know, if it supports it, it supports it. Who cares? Hope you like the video. If you have any ideas on what I should do next, of course I have some videos lined up, but you can always suggest below in the comments. Subscribe, tell your friends, tell your DJ friends, ask them to come by the site djtechzone.com, uh, visit our uh, YouTube uh, channel, subscribe, I say it again, so we can grow uh, our presence on the internet. DJ Tech Zone is intended to be a DJ community, we want to make it grow, we want to make it bigger, and we need your help to make that happen. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.